Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2, and we are going to be going back to Keel Canal. I got some some tips from some of my viewers, one of which, uh, I'm trying to remember her name. I will pop that up on the screen as soon as I can find it, but I will pop that up there. I want her to get a good shout out and some acknowledgement for what she was, you know, she basically told me where to get the flounder. The flounder here are a lot of cash, a lot of cash. And I think that's what we're going to try to focus on. The big fish, last time we were here, we had some real issues getting them in. I think they've been working on the stamina issues, but as far as how how far they've been able to, to progress, I don't know yet. Might still have problems getting these fish in, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump in. Alright guys, we are here. And that is what she told me to look for. A Viking ship. Now, I don't know if I can get any closer than that. I don't think so, but should should be able to cast over there without any problem whatsoever. Let's see make sure I have the right stuff here yep this is the big one this is the one I want to try let's see the I don't want the Robinson Aspen though I do want to get one of these spinner baits that is what these guys have been going for You're going to get some lag in the beginning. That's one of the things I have noticed this. The lag is real. Whoa. Initially in this game. Okay. I had to find the right rod here. She said to throw it towards the Viking ship. Hopefully we'll stop getting all this stupid lag. Quite a bit of lag, quite a bit of lag. Like I said, it does fix itself over time. That is the only good thing. Alright. Now this one I think we need to take the speed down considerably. Wow! That was that was fast. I hadn't even had a chance to press it yet. It's a decent eel. He's definitely giving me a bit of a fight. I'm having no trouble getting the eels now. Yeah, 1429. He's not bad, not bad. Let's try that again. I think our little lag issue has resolved itself. Piers. Let's take that drag down because I don't know how that drag is going to be doing in this game. There we go. Boom! Looks like we got us a European bass. I 
Yeah, he's not huge. I'm basically able to bring him in, even with the drag, only at 36%. So. That's a decent European bass. $86. Good cash for these fellas. Yeah, we need to get as much cash as we can because we need to get really, really big gear. Really big gear. I don't know if we can get any closer to that ship or not. Don't think so. But let's let this drop all the way to the bottom this time. I'm pretty certain this is where she said to send it. Uh, okay, we got us an asp there. Nope, oh, he dropped it. Actually, that doesn't tear me up because you don't get a whole lot for them. I think we got us a garfish that's really got some interest in it. Ah, a perch. Really? <laughs> Damn birch. You little freak. Yeah. He ain't gonna be worth much. Yeah, let me take a look at the map here. See, I am... I'm over here. Yeah, I don't think I can get any closer. Unless I were to go this way, maybe. I don't know. Can we get over there? That's definitely worth a look. Yeah, some of these things are more accessible from other locations. Okay, we can get up on the rocks. So, well, shoot. Okay, good. Yeah, let's just... Whoa. Lag again. I guess my question is, is this the only Viking ship? Oh, man. That was our flounder. That was our flounder, but he dropped it. Damn it. She didn't steer me wrong. Can't force him to take it, I guess. Yeah, we got us an asp here. And yeah, asp, they don't bring a ton of cash unless they're really, really big. See, he only brought five dollars and ninety-seven cents. I mean, you know, eh, not real great. There we go, guys. Ah, shoot! That keeps happening with the flounder. I've caught, I've hooked about three of them so far. And they keep dropping it. But I need to cast this a little further to the left because it looks like it's a lot deeper on this side of things. Plus there's a lot of cover over here too. A lot of different things are going for this particular lure, so we've got if we want to really focus on the flounder. 
I gotta stay in this deep part. Uh, that ain't gonna help any. <laughs> Actually, that's a good sized perch. It's a big perch. Might actually be a personal best. Let's see just how big this fella is. Damn, he is actually... He's actually giving a pretty good darn fight for such a small species here. Yeah, this is a definitely a personal best. Oh my goodness. Yep, new personal record. He's two stars. 7.57. Still not quite big enough. If I could get a 5, I will definitely put that in my trophy room. But he's not quite big enough. Okay, so when I threw that that way, let's try closer to the blue boat. I want to take a look at the bottom there. And then try closer to the middle between the Viking boat and the... I think that's some kind of a shipping boat. I'm not sure. Let's see here. Yeah, we definitely got a deep spot here, but I think... Hold on, let me get a better look from this perspective. Yep, there's the flounder. We need to keep... This is the area where the flounders are. Ah. But... We've also got perch. Well, he dropped it. He dropped it. He may still have a chance to get another one. Yeah, it's hard to really get an idea where the drop-offs are here. Yeah, the deep areas are where the flounder are going to be found. Now we got, there we go, we got us another, another decent eel. They're pretty good cash, like I said. This one's, I don't know if it's a personal best, but I think he's a decent size. Let's see here. Oh, wow. No, he's not a personal best, but he's still pretty good at $54. He's a one star. Let's see. So they can... I was trying to see if they go up to five. I think they all can go up to five. But how do I get a bigger one than that? I know they go for that particular lure, but obviously we got to come up with something that they're going to go after. That the bigger ones will go after. I'm not sure. Let me throw it closer to this end to see what the bottom of that area looks like. The sandy areas is where the f flounder are. The rocky areas, I'm not seeing them. That's because, well, they like to bury themselves in the sand. Yeah, this might be a better place to fish for them here. I think I was take. I think near the Viking ship is. There we go. Come on. Stick on there with me. There we go. We got him. We got him. Yep. I gotta throw it further to the left, guys. You gotta throw it further to the left, more towards the blue ship. Now, you're gonna be shocked when you see how much money, even if this is a small one, I will get for it. Forty-nine dollars for a one-pound fish, guys. Forty-nine dollars for a one-pound fish. That's incredible. Well, let's see if we can get a bigger one than that. I'm going to have to go off screen and try, now that I've found the right spot, some of these other lures to see if we can't try to get a bigger one. I think that's an ant. Nope, that's a Wells catfish. A big one, too. And we got us an eel. And he's going to go for it. Yep. <laughs> well, we are in the right location. We just got other species to deal with. Eels aren't too bad. They're not bad at all.
he's not my best, but he's not too bad. Still only a one star. 45-45 though. Let's try towards the middle of the ship. Yeah, I think that's where I got the one the last time, wherever that pylon was. Yeah, it's real deep and sandy here. This is a perfect flounder spot. If we can... Ah, darn eels. And apparently it's a perfect eel spot. <laughs> See, there's a flounder. Dang, gun it. You know what? Let's try a, the same type of lure, but let's try a different color. Let's see if maybe we'll have a little more luck getting the flounder with it. We got a few of them here of different colors. Uh, I couldn't get anything to go for this barba grub rigged worm. Nothing seemed to go for that at all. We've got this white one though. Got this white one, we've got this blue one. Let's give each of those a try and see if that. Gosh, mustn't. Stupid lag. Because we've got the right spot. That wasn't a bad cast. I wish I could get out here on a boat. That way I could get a little bit further out. Let's see if anything different will go for this. We might end up getting the same stuff. Mm. Well, I thought that garfish was going to grab it, but I'm glad it was this guy because garfish just do not bring in much cash. As cool looking as they are, they are not worth much. Another good size perch. They are some monster perch out here. Yep, another two star perch, seven fifteen. Not as big as that last one, but not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, there. I think we got an Atlantic salmon over there. Yep, that's a big Atlantic salmon. I doubt he's going to be interested in that at all. That asp is. Wow. This guy's putting up quite the resistance here. Let's see how big he is. Yeah, he's only one star. Eight ninety six. It's eagle vision. I didn't see much of anything with that. Alright, let's see here. Let's... Let's switch to the blue one.
Come on, Flounder. There. Ah, hell. There he goes. And he didn't get off. Perfect. This is a good size one, too. This might get us some cash, guys. Now, I don't know if I just got lucky there, or if this fish went for the blue lure more than the black and purple. Alright, $147.73. Whoa, two stars. Very nice. Let's try it one more time to see if that is not the lure of choice for this guy. Uh, I'm not sure I see any in the mo at the moment. There's some kind of a... S oh wow, that's a big fish. I've been getting a lot of the asps. A level, the level 19. Let me see, where are we? As far as I think we have. Yeah, I think we have. Well, we might as well keep fishing because, guys, right now we're going to get some boost cash wise. And if we could get a decent sized flounder, that would be nice. Because we'll get a bonus for him as well. An XP bonus and a cash bonus. There's a codfish. Ah, of all things. <laughs> Damn darfish. Oh man, that sucks. Oh, he got off. Well, actually, I'm not all that tore up about that. I just like the... That brings in the least amount of cash and XP out of any fish it, I could have attracted. And I think I'm going to get another one. Damn. These guys are relentless. Nope, he got off too. Can you believe that? Well, it is obviously a garfish kind of a cast there, guys. Yeah, look at that. 99 cents. <laughs> Goodbye. Go back, have fun, play with your friends. <laughs> you know, not worth squat. Yeah, I think they're probably like not good eating at all or something too bony any number of things now I don't think they're anywhere closely related to the long nose gar or the alligator gar I think they're an entirely different type of species they have similar appearance damn Okay, they are definitely going hard for that particular lure.
Yeah, we need to come up with something a little different here. Something. Yeah, we're going to release him too. What else do we have left here that we could try, guys? Because this has gone on a little bit long. And we've got... We've got this one here. We've got four of them. I know this one usually will really attract the perch, so this might be a better one to try. It's the Robinson Clastic Twist, 8 centimeter, red and black spotted. Okay, we're going to try a little bit closer to the bow of the ship there. Yeah, it's a little bit sandier over here, which is good. I haven't seen that many floundering anymore. Well, there's an eel. <laughs> Got plenty of eels. Alright, I think I might try over there closer to the Viking ship this time. Because we are getting way too many eels. Way too many garfish. I was afraid this might be too rocky. There's a European bass. That's a good money bringer. Yeah, see, 98.28 for 3.66 pound fish. That's pretty good. But we also can see that's only a one star fish. So there's something that will attract them that I either don't have or I need to get. Let me see here. We've got... They've added a lot of new lures, and I'm not sure what all these guys will go for. The soft lures, they seem to prefer the most. Let's see, spoons, spinners, soft lures. And maybe we need to try for the biggest one they've got available here. So we got so these ones called shads. These are new, and a lot of these are not yet available to me. Well, the only one I can see here that I can actually get are the gold and the green. And you have to be level 16. The next one after that is level 25. So, knowing my luck, that's the ones you're going to need. But we're going to see about getting a gold one. And... Well, we'll go ahead and get the green one, too. We'll buy them both. Let's go back to our inventory. We're going to put one of those on there. Let's try the... I have a feeling this gold one might attract some attention. 
It might not get the flounder, but it might get something else too. And since it's so large, well, we'll just see, I guess. Honestly, we may not be able to get those level threes up and above until we get to a higher level. I mean, that's that's always a possibility. Well, I definitely got a good cast on that, though. Now, we're going to need to figure out what kind of reel-in speed we're going to need here. I don't think it's going to be 14. I think we're going to need probably a 22. Yep, 22 just seems to be good for most lure presentations. For the smaller ones, I'd say the 14, the 16. But I'm not actually seeing any anything out here. It's looking pretty dead. Okay, there's a codfish. And there's one that just bit. <laughs> big one too. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking was going to go for this. But I had to give it a try. Well, you were a big fella. Now, am I actually getting this guy in or is he taking that? No, he's still taking it out. Okay, so we need... We're going to have to fight him. Yep. Alright. Let's turn the drag up just a little bit here. Okay. I don't think he's aware that we're reeling him in. So we're going to need to probably take it up a little bit more. We're not in trouble yet. Okay. Yeah, they definitely seem to have gotten the balance between how these fish are fighting taken care of. At least I think. Oh, no. Well, he's he's making progress again. Let's try bumping that up again. Bump it up a little more. Yeah, this is a big fella. This is a big fish. Yeah, these codfish can get pretty big. Okay, we're up to 80%. We're still not getting in trouble here. We're also not making a whole lot of progress. There we go. Okay, I think we got him. We got him. Yep. Come on, big fella. Oh my god! <laughs> That, my friends, is a fish. Holy cri crikeys. And he's only a one star. $537. Wow. 680 XP. I'm sorry, but that lady could not just hold those that fish in her hands easily. <laughs> That's 56 pounds of fish. Whoa, that is a big fish. And we are just scratching the surface here, guys. If he's one star, how big are the five stars? <laughs> well, I'm going to get a picture of him. If I can. Well, it's not taking the picture here. Oh, yeah, I have to do the F1. There we go. Big old fish. Yeah, I'm thinking our net's probably getting kind of full. Let's see just how where we stand in there fishing net we still have well we only have 280 pounds of fish in there so that's not too bad I think I'm going to go ahead and sell all that gets me up to 4,770 cash but yeah I, I didn't see any more flounder I didn't I don't know if they're attracted to this particular lure, but guys, if you've got any of the lures that they will go for, I think I've got the right spot for getting the big ones. 
I just think it's a matter of finding the right lure. Is this, I mean, is there a better lure that I can use? Or is there, am I going to have to get higher levels to get to that point? Well, anyway, let me know in the comments below if you can. And anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.